Hi guys, welcome to Ashok IT. In this video, we are going to understand how to create one EC2 instance in the AWS cloud and how to connect with that EC2 instance by using Git Bash. Here, I logged in into my AWS account. You can go to services and select compute option. Here you can see EC2, which is used to create virtual servers in the cloud. Select this EC2. Here, there is an option called launch instance option is available. Click on this option. Here, I'm giving the name for my instance as my VM, and you can select the AMI. Here, there are different AMIs available like Amazon Linux, Ubuntu Linux, Red Hat Linux, and Windows, Mac OS also available. I'm selecting Amazon Linux. And here, instance type, which is very important. I'm selecting T2 Micro, which is free tier eligible. This will give one GB RAM. If you want high configuration system, then you can select the instance types, but charges applicable. Suppose if you go for T2 medium instance, 4 GB RAM will be available, but per hour bill will be generated. For practice purpose, I'm going to use T2 micro, which is free tier eligible, nothing but it's free of cost. Then coming to key pair, this is used to connect with our machine securely. If you have the key pairs already, you can select those key pairs. If you don't have, you can create a new key pair. I'm creating new key pair. Click on create new key pair. You can give the name for that. I'm using a name. And I will select dot pem here. I'm going to create a pem file, my AWS pem, right? Now click on create key pair. It will download the key pair in our system. You can see in the downloads folder, one key pair is downloaded, okay? Once it is downloaded, then you can select launch instance. With this, our EC2 instance is getting created. Once instance is created, you can see the instance ID. Click on this instance ID, then it will display the instance information. Now, you can select the instance by using this checkbox and you can refresh the state of this. Now the instance state is running. So once you select this checkbox, it will display the information of the instance, public IP of the instance, private IP of the instance. We will use this public IP to connect with this machine. Now, once you select this checkbox here, connect option is enabled. Click on this connect option and here, SSH client option is available. I'm selecting SSH client. So here they have provided the steps also in order to connect with this machine. Open SSH client. I'm going to use Git bash as the SSH client. So simply type download Git. Okay. So once you click on download Git, you can go to the git scm.com website. Here you can download the Git client for your machine. So I'm using Windows machine. So I can download it for Windows. Then Git client software will be downloaded in the .exe file, you simply install that Git client software. So once you have installed that Git client, you can go to the location where the PEM file is downloaded. So in the downloads folder, my AWS PEM file is downloaded. So this is the location of my PEM file. Now go to the location where the PEM file is available, right click on your mouse and go to show more options. Here, Git bash is. I have already installed Git bash in my system. So once you install the Git client, you will get this option. Simply click on this. With this, Git client software will open here. This one we are using as a SSH client in order to connect with the EC2 instance. Now, go to the AWS. Here, they have given the steps. By following these steps, we can connect. I opened my client and I located where my PEM file is available. Then I need to give read permission for this PEM file. So by using this ch mode command, I will give the read permission for the PEM file. Just click on this icon to copy the command, go to the git bash and execute it. So with this, we are able to execute that command. Then go and copy this example command here. This is SSH client command. So by using this SSH command, we can connect with the DC2 instance. I'm just copying this command. Now go to this git bash and right click paste it. So execute this command also. Once we execute this command, it is asking, are you sure you want to continue to connect with the machine? Yes, I want to connect with that machine. With this, I'm trying to connect with the EC2 instance by using this SSH client. Yes, if you are able to see this option, that means successfully, I'm able to connect with the EC2 instance by using git bash. So you can execute the commands here, Linux commands, who am I? So who am I command will display with which username we connected to this machine. We connected to this machine by using EC2 user. And here you can practice the Linux commands. Once your practice is completed, you can go back to the EC2 dashboard and 
you can stop your EC2 instance. The instance state is currently running. You can select the instance state and you can choose stop option or terminate option. If you use a stop, the machine will be stopped and again, you can start it whenever you want. If you use a terminate, the machine will be deleted permanently. You cannot get it back. I'm using stop. So with this, my EC2 instance will be stopped. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, please comment on this video and share it with your friends also.